What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have the start of a new series and we're calling this boxes versus breaks. So pretty much what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have a box of a product and I'm buying some group breaks. Obviously the cards are already here. Once the cards are in, I'll open that box. So we'll open this box today in this video and we'll compare it with the results from the group breaks. So I know that kind of a common question is, you know, should I buy into group breaks or should I just buy a box and you know t test my luck in either way? Obviously the results can vary. You know, sometimes this could be incredible. This could be terrible. This could be incredible. This could be terrible. I just have my results in this used box. Uh, this is actually the one from the Contenders Review. And if you've seen that one, you know Contenders has been incredible to us. We pulled the absolute monster hit from this box. And um, yeah, new series idea. So if you guys like the idea of this and want to see future videos of this series, uh, smash the like button, subscribe, share, comment. Let me know down below that you do want to see more like this. And I'll probably try a few of them. And if you guys like them, I'll keep doing them. If you guys don't like them, then we'll probably stop doing them. But um, yeah, thought I'd try something new and kind of compare... Uh, the breaks versus the boxes. So I, um, once again, I do know what I have here for the group breaks. I did watch it. Now, if you guys want in a future one for me not to watch it and to kind of, you know, just not look when I take it out, pop it in the box and then I'll, I'll show you guys live, I guess not live, but uh, show my first reaction on camera getting these, then um, we can do that too. Drop the comment down below, which you prefer, you know, it was okay if I see these first, you don't want me to see them first. Um, I'm down with whatever you guys I think is, uh, think is best. So once again, start of a series, we'll change stuff up as we see fit but um yes yeah, so i'll show this first then we'll open this box and we're doing it with contenders of course now the main thing is i wanted to keep it similar in price wise however i had the first off the line box and um i thought i'd just do it for this one so in this situation the box is more than the breaks um but uh the main difference in the first off the line is just a parallel the two parallels which i'll show you when we get into this box itself i'll kind of go into the information but um you know usually it'll be like you know 500 dollars a break 500 dollars box i think the prices have changed a little bit since I got it, but let's say it's like four or five hundred dollars and breaks versus five, four or five hundred dollars boxes here. Lone exception would be this time I had the first off the line. You guys did want to see it, but I thought I would put it in this video instead of its own its own review. So um yeah, here we go. Let's move these to the side. Background we got Trey. That's from Regular Contenders. Pulled that myself. Uh, awesome box from eighteen nineteen. And then I bought that one from it was in a mail day a couple of mail days ago I think. And that's a nice Jaren from Contenders Optic. So. Here's um, IG there, Pac-Man cards, and yeah, drop a follow if you haven't. That's where I buy, sell, when your group breaks are live themselves. So before one thing, before I get into this, if you're not too sure what group breaks are, so obviously you know what uh, you know opening a hobby box is. You buy the box, you open the box, you get the cards. Uh, group breaks, if you're not familiar with them, I do have a video that I'll try to link below in the pinned comment in the description to describe group breaks. But um, I also have my second channel, Pac-Man Breaks. Those are all group breaks. So if you've ever seen that channel, that's exactly what those are. Uh, pretty much people buy in and... They you know get a certain team. They get all the cards for that team, and sometimes random, sometimes pick your team. So, let's uh show you what we got here. Now, um, I already know what I got here, so I know that this is gonna be, it, it's it's good, it's good, and it's actually a good representation of what I'm trying to show you guys here. So, let's uh take this stuff out. We have this crush contenders box. I don't know why I saved this box, but I did, and got it got dinged up as you can see. This thing's not has seen better days. Got a little dinged up in transit. But, um, yeah, he, he's still alive somewhat. So there we go. So, Contenders, product I definitely like. I'm a fan of it. I think they did a pretty good job this year. I like it. And I'm just going to go through what I have here. I bought several spots in, um, it was, I think it was total case. So they sell them. This, I think it was sold in half cases. So I bought just several spots to equal the amount of the hobby box. At the time, I thought I'd do hobby. Then I changed it to first off the line. So pretend this is a hobby box. They're very similar. I'll show you guys when we get to that one. But here's everything I got from the group breaks. Now group breaks, you can walk away with absolutely nothing or you can hit monsters, right? I, I've joined and I host my own group breaks. So I know how they work. And um, you know, so be prepared, just like a hobby box, you can walk away with very little or very much. But here's just the base cards, I believe. I haven't actually you know gone too in depth through these. I know what I got, but I haven't really looked through all these. And it looks like a nice Chris Middleton, Chris Middleton lot there and Giannis base. So... There's some base in this one. Um, sometimes the base will ship, sometimes it doesn't. Depends on which one it is. So, yeah, nothing too crazy there. Now, Grizzlies was one team I have, and this is the only two cards I got for the Grizzlies. Uh, this was random teams. So there we go. Two John Morant base cards. So, um, yeah, that, that's how it can go sometimes. And you have to be prepared to get nothing or something. You, know, you never know what you're going to get and be willing to take that risk. So that's kind of the thing about breaks is it's cheaper to buy into a group break than to buy a box. So usually maybe a few spots, several spots, depending on the product, will equal 
one box. The box you're guaranteed, you know, the two autographs, maybe one autograph, something like that, parallels. Um, the breaks, you know, you have a high ceiling, but you can walk away with nothing because there's no guarantees. But I brought in, I bought into a good amount of group breaks over the years, and I've had a good mix of results. So all it takes is one sometimes. So let's see what we got here. Uh, we got an insert of Devin Booker, Sweet Shots. So Suns another team I had in addition to Bucks and Grizzlies. And we have a Devin Booker premium season ticket there. So that's the just the Chrome roll one. And then these should all be just base cards, I believe. Um, yeah, just base cards. Let's put these at the bottom. So got a Drew Holiday. And that's to 249 numbered card. Then we have some inserts. I'm trying to... Uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm doing a good job or not, but I'm trying my best to contain excitement. Because once again, I know what I got. You guys by now know that um, it, it's pretty good. There's a mag card down there. Yeah. But uh, Rookie of the Year, Contenders, Jalen Smith. And then Rookie of the Year, Contenders, Cole Anthony. Got a Giannis Superstar insert, die cut. And then we got some autographs here. So, got a Chuma Okiki. So, I also have the Magic and it's a 199. So, cool. Chuma Okiki. So, then we have this autograph, which was a nice little cherry on top. And this one is for the, also for the Magic. It's Cole Anthony. This is just a, a base one, but still nice to get. So, Cole Anthony. Got a Kobe White looking auto. But there we go. And finally, this card here. So, um, yeah, this is the biggest card that I've hit that I can remember. And it's funny because just recently I hit the biggest card that I could hit and I, I can remember in a long time too. Uh, also from this product. So this product has been very nice to me. But let's see what we got here. 105, Anthony Edwards. See the prism, 10 of 10. There we go, boom. Now we don't know what we'll get from this box yet. So this box, for all I know, I could get, you know, a one to five, one cracked ice, lamello, something like that. But um, at least at the time of recording, I mean, this is incredible. It's the biggest card I can remember pulling just um since the Mahomes. And at the time of pulling, it's gotta be top one or two card I've ever pulled, especially at the time. Now, I don't know how it would grow. Maybe he becomes the GOAT and it's one of the biggest cards you know, in existence. Maybe he flops and it goes down. But at least as, as of now, this is a monstrous card. Tough to comp. Main reason being that these cards uh, with you know new products, there are no comparisons. So, you know, people always ask, can you put prices of uh, the cards you pull from, you know, from the videos? Most of the videos are, are product reviews and you can't do that because there's no comps yet. If I did put prices up, it wouldn't be honest. And I would just be, it should be my best guess and that wouldn't be a very good thing at all. But, um, yeah, so you really can't comp these too well. I tried my best based on just other cards I could find with other players comparing it to the golds and other parallels. And I would say, once again, this is very, very rough and I would take it with a grain of salt. I would say it's easily at least 5,000 based on the comps I did do. Um, there's no, not too many Edwards comps, but just other players. And for all I know, it could be more. I haven't looked too closely at the condition. If it's really good, it could be even more. If it's bad, it could be a little less. But I would say comfortably um, over you know 5,000 plus and that's just you know what I've gathered from looking at different comps on, on eBay here. So this is a huge card, on card, gold premium edition, 10 of 10. Uh, you know, we in the basketball, I guess, collecting community, I'll say, we uh, we love Chrome. So I love the Cracked Ice too, and I used to say that's kind of the hit of the product. I would say that gold is, based on looking at sales, I would say the gold's now become more, might, be, might have become more popular. So, um, but yeah, beautiful card. One of the biggest cards I've ever hit, just period. I think it's probably top three pull for myself. And yeah, from a, from a break. Now let's just start getting into this box. Don't want to waste too much of your time. So that was about several spots I bought into for group breaks. As you can see in, I had the Timberwolves for one of them, got lucky and hit a monster. Then I had the Grizzlies for one. Uh, where was, where was that John Morant? And I did terrible, right? So you can, it's a full spectrum magic. I did solid. I literally got terrible, solid, incredible. Um, we have one of the Biggest cards ever. Super grateful for that one. Now, let's see if we can beat that with this box here. So, very interesting to see, but uh, man, I, I cannot believe it. When I hit that one, 
I wasn't watching it live. I actually watched it on playback because, um, you know, I was away and I just didn't tune in. That, when I saw that, it was near, I think it was near the end. And I was just like, oh, well, I hadn't had the best group break luck re recently. And I was like, well, you win some, you lose some. I did just recently pull that Halliburton. So, you know, obviously it, it's overall good stuff. But um, then I saw that ant and I was like, oh my gosh. I was, I was, I was like freaking out. It, it was, I was silently freaking out because I couldn't be too loud at the time. So I was like, I was like oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> like, look at this. And everyone's just like, okay, cool. Yeah, nice. I was like, this is a big deal. I'm so happy. Anyway, uh, here's our first off the line box. And the main difference between the hobby box, if you've seen that review, um, or if you haven't seen that review, definitely check it out. If it, we pulled an incredible card in that one too. So contenders, truly an excellent product um, so far. But um, the main difference would be you get two autographs once again. One of these will be a shimmer parallel. I believe there's uh, blue, gold, and red. And um, they're pretty super short printed. You get one of those, and then you can get another rookie autograph. You get a sicker autograph like that Chuma, or maybe the Cole. You never know. Maybe you get Cracked Ice Lamello. You never know. And then you get an opening night parallel numbered to 25. So uh, first off line exclusives, pretty solid. Once again, we love those chrome parallels. The hobby ones like this gold are much more coveted than, you know, a shimmer. So... But yeah, the true true gold one. That's the picture I like a little bit better of Ant. But um, so I'm really happy to have this one. Incredible card. I mean, just one of the biggest cards I, I pulled in a long time. Um, closes off the year real strong. In my opinion, he's the rookie of the year. And I'm definitely excited to see how his career pans out. So that is as excellent. And you know, once again, um, obviously a lot of us you know understand how tough it is to pull. Some big cards from here. I mean, if you watch this channel regularly, you know that sometimes uh, we are striking out hard. And I can't remember. I mean, pre Halliburton, I don't think I'd pull a thousand dollar card in a long time. And I mean, let alone a five thousand dollar card. Trying to pull that, we ripped tons of boxes on Pac-Man breaks, and we only pulled a few of those out of maybe hundreds, several hundred boxes, something like that. So, it is that is incredibly tough, to, incredibly tough to pull. And I'm very, very blessed to have that one. So um, it's awesome. Thank you, contenders. My new, uh, my new best friend. But I was going to core a lottery ticket here. And so we're going to see how this box stacks up. And then you guys can let me know. It's going to be very tough to beat this one. But if it does, we might be looking at the uh, craziest thing in, in on this channel history. But so yeah. So if you guys want to see more like this, where I kind of open the box and compare it to my break results, uh, let me know. You know, you can drop, drop a like in the video. And uh, comment down below, and if you know, I see a lot of people like these, then we can definitely do more of them. So, and if you have any recommendations as how to make it better, something you maybe want to see in this in this series, definitely let me know. Can we just get these same base guys? So here's a filler there. Like if you don't want me to look at the results beforehand, I mean I remember I was kind of just bored, so I was like, you know what? Let me look at my my results, and absolutely crazy. Uh, first round, 148 and 149. Ja Morant, my guy. Put that there or yeah any other suggestions i'm sure this is probably stuff i'm not thinking about that can make this better then uh definitely let me know we can get it we can get it going so also let me know if you do want to see it some future products you might want me to uh, do this with you know maybe national treasures right maybe that, that would be an expensive one um i don't know optic select stuff like that prism so let me know and we can definitely do it whatever you guys want to see but yeah so that that kind of age old question, not age old, but that, that question we always think about, you know, do I want to spend X amount of dollars on group breaks or should I just buy the box? That's, um, that question may never be answered. You know, I always go back and forth. Sometimes I want to, it's a nice wise man there. Sometimes I want to do breaks. Sometimes I want to do, uh, boxes. I like ripping the packs. So I, I do a lot of, um, do a lot of boxes. My group break look hasn't been too crazy. So I haven't really had much to show, but, um, yeah. See, I, I can see all it took was one. I was definitely not doing too hot prior to the ant. And all of a sudden, with that ant, all of a sudden, big time thumbs up in totality. So, so waiting for those autos. And I guess this technically is a little mini review for the first off the line box. So I'll also kind of give short last thoughts into that product after this. And we have something here. So this will be one of our autographs. Is it our premium? I don't think it is. 144. Oh, this is McDaniels. Yeah, it is. Let's see what kind of parallel it is. Jaden. Oh. That's pretty nice. Cracked ice, Jaden McDaniels. I, I personally feel like contenders have been deliver, delivering pretty strong. Panini knows that 
And since there's only two autographs, those autographs have to deliver. And I feel like from what I've seen early on, those autographs definitely have been delivering. On card, one of my favorite sets, Cracked Ice, Jaden McDaniels. We'll see how he does. Guy's got potential. And uh, 4 of 25. Ooh. Oh, boy. All right, let's put that there real quick. He will quickly get... Get him a sleeve. I prepared his sleeve for this exact moment. All right, I love the Cracked Ice. Uh, yeah, I'm literally shaking. Cracked Ice, man. I'm a sucker for Cracked Ice. Um, obviously, I love football, too. And Cracked Ice kind of, at least for me, gave this brand its name. And, um, you know, made it one of my... My favorites to collect. Obviously, people don't like that. There's not much value outside the autos. But I personally am a, I'm a big fan. Cracked Ice, Jaden McDaniels. I mean, we're still a far away, far ways away from the ant value-wise. But um, that, that's pretty good. I'll, I'll take that all day. Let's go. So we'll put that there. Nice nice boom there. I mean, that's, that's not an easy pull. I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you, contenders. My good friend. So maybe we will rip more contenders. I mean, I truly can't get enough of this stuff. I'm always excited to... Rip this, and historically, it's been pretty good. I pulled that tray once again in 1819. This year's been awesome. Last year was was okay. wasn't the best last year, but this year, definitely a thumbs up. And let me know down below in the comments what you guys pulled from your contenders box. I know that you know, I haven't really uh, asked that question yet, and I know that you guys probably a lot of you guys probably have probably ripped some or maybe joined a break for it. If you pull anything cool, let me know. Uh, some of you guys actually have shown me your parallels. I've seen some uh, not parallels pulls. Water ticket Wiseman. And I have seen some pretty good stuff, so congrats to you guys. I saw some Lomellos. Who else did I see? I saw some um, Halliburtons. Very nice. And contenders, thank you for being a good product this year. So there's a fun guy, Kawhi. And we have... Is this our opening night parallel? Oh, no, it's not our opening night parallel. This is a Pascal Siakam Sweet Shots. Cool. And then we'll put them here. And we got some base. All right, last several packs, and we're just looking for that premium autograph and our opening night. The opening night parallel from the first off the line boxes. Once again, they are they are the first off the line exclusive parallel in addition to those shimmers. Uh, there's also a green shimmer in retail, but those are kind of the only differences. Uh, we haven't found it yet, but and I wouldn't consider anything too crazy that parallel. Uh, Naismith lottery ticket and some more base. All right. I, I can't get over that ant. I mean, on card, beautiful card. I mean, th that's like a, a product hit level hit. So, oh, this might be it here. Yeah, I think this is it. So this will be our premium autograph. Unless we have a premium base, but we do have a premium card in here, which would be, you know, the Chrome ones. Uh, different, a little different from Contender's Optic. Kind of more like a, like a Prism card, card from Prism, than a, you know, 55 point thicker stock autograph like is in Contender's Contenders Optic. All right. Oh, no. Another base here of a drum. All right, here we go. Yeah, I think I have to flip this. Probably going to be wrong. I'm always wrong, but I can't make this up. I mean, I, I, I'm i over. Over like a thousand trying to predict it. All right. 138 is the variation. Now, we got that cracked ice. I don't know if we're getting anything crazy here, but Tyler Bay. That's at number two. One of one? Oh, uh, we got the uh, one of one Tyler Bay. Okay. Well, hello, old friend. All right, this has been a crazy, crazy opening. We pulled a cracked ice and then a one of one Tyler Bay. So I believe that the gold shimmers like these are the one of ones. Um, the reds are the five and the blues are the 20. I might be forgetting one, but wow. All right, so Mavs fans, Tyler Bay fans, what do we think? Is he a is he a baller? Is he a shot caller, or is he terrible? Hopefully he's he's, he's not he's not terrible. But um, I always give these guys you know two or three years at least. Once again, I call that the Josh Allen rule. Those of you who know why, you know. So we'll see what he does. That in the cracked ice, and we're still waiting for our opening night pair. But one of one Tyler Bay variation. Wow, a lot of gold here. A lot of super short print stuff, man. That is awesome. Thank you, contenders. They, they went and loaded this product up big time. All right. I think in totality, this might be one of the craziest videos we've ever had. I mean, obviously, I didn't just pull that from a pack, but that was, um, 
yeah, e easily one of my biggest hits ever. Especially revealing that one just now. I mean, and then you pull the one of one with the cracked ice. I don't think we ever had that much juice in one sitting. All right, this is our opening night parallel here. Did I get it right? RJ Barrett. I'll take that. Year two, RJ. Cool. It is five of 25. So got that kind of like a sparkle pattern. And it says opening night. Pretty cool. I like it. I like the parallels, how they made it, you know, relevant to, to basketball. And there we go. More base. So just last three packs. So uh, we haven't gotten a superstar and we could technically still get a case hit permit. Now, considering the ice and considering the one of one, I doubt we get a permit or license case hit, but you never know. Devin, uh, Devin Booger, as Ms. Pac-Man says. Devin Booker. There we go. All right, last two packs. What can we get? What can we get? I guess the one thing from my perspective, it'd be nice to see that. Imagine if I had not known my results and all of a sudden I open that that box and I see, or that, yeah, the box and see the ant there. I think that'd be pretty cool. So that's something you do want to see. Let me know. Obviously, I have seen it already, so I'm not like, oh my gosh, boom. Inside, I'm still... Like, I can't get over that card. I, I, I carry it everywhere I go right now. Um, but yeah. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Not like outside the house, but within within the boundaries. It, it's just crazy, man. Crazy. All right. I think people are, have recently been asking what are my biggest hits ever. So I guess it would be my Mahomes, the Soto Superfractor, rookie from Heritage. And then unless I'm forgetting one, that ant would be, would fill up the top three. I believe so. Um, I might be forgetting one and sorry to that card if I am, but at least the ones I can think of, that, that'll do it. Joel Embiid there and this would finish it off. One, two, three, and four. All right. So that does it. This time we did first off the line. So in the future, I'll probably try to keep it same value. Maybe every now and then if you know, I have the first off the line box and I want to show you guys that one then we will do it. But um, usually I'll try to keep like hobby box of optic versus that same amount of dollars in group breaks. So let's recap what we got from this box and then we'll show the highlights of the box and the breaks and let me know which one was better. And once again, let me know, let me know down below who you think won breaks or boxes. Um, and then also let me know if you want to see more of these videos like this one. So, you know, drop, drop a like in the vid and uh, comment down below, share sub and um, it's just let me know that you guys want to see more like this. And as I mentioned, I'll do, probably a couple more at least and if it's something you guys like then I'll, I'll keep doing them if it's not something you like then we'll maybe we'll switch it up to something else but got some inserts lottery ticket so you get a bunch of these and put those over there we got some lucky fillers thank you lucky fillers got rj barrett this is our first off the line exclusive opening night so the only difference parallel wise um base parallel wise between this and hobby is that you get one of these guaranteed we'll put that there and then we got the wiseman times two and a john morant so our autographs were pretty solid. We didn't get the you know top four or five names, but we got two pretty good cards. Um, you know, at least McDaniel's, I, I personally believe, has some pretty high potential. And um, but, hey, actually, where's his first name on here? He has no first name. <laughs> well, Jaden McDaniel's, and it's just Bay. He's Bay from now on, just Bay. But yeah, um, and we got this one of one, which is crazy. A one of one and a cracked ice and that. That gold one. So we'll put these here, move these to the side. And then once again, from the group breaks, when we move these to the back, we got some uh, awesome stuff highlighted by this Anthony Edwards. Um, you know, we just got this numbered parallel Drew, these base and uh, these inserts, a um, few more inserts and this Giannis got a Kiki, uh, Cole Anthony, and then Ant. So down below in the comments, let me know who you think won the boxes or the breaks. And then in addition to that, let me know if you want to, once again, see this, more of the series, uh, which products, as well as, you know, what I could make, uh, do to make this better. You know, should I not look at the stuff beforehand? Um, should I do something else, you know, that maybe I'm not thinking of? And uh, yeah, we can definitely do some more. So I'll probably do, once again, do a couple more with some other products that I think uh, it'd be good for. And then we'll, we'll recess from there if it's something we want to keep going, uh, keep doing or not. So very awesome. Uh, I mean, I, I don't, I can't believe it. One of the, uh, hopefully it's in good condition. I haven't really checked it yet but um one of the biggest cards that i'll probably ever pull i mean 
the difficulty to pull a five thousand dollar card is ridiculous, as we all know. So um, very blessed to pull this one, and uh, we were on a little bit of a, a little bit of a cold streak. So it was really nice, to, and I, I was like almost crying tears of joy. So happy, but love this ant, love ant match. You guys know, and uh, super awesome card for the collection. Plus this one of one, plus this cracked dice. Um, overall, awesome stuff. Great, uh, great break and great boxes. So thank you guys for watching as always, and wish you guys the best of luck. Let me know once again which, which one you prefer. Breaks your box in general. In addition to who you think won, so like if you were going to buy in, what would you pre uh, prefer to spend your four or five hundred dollars on? And it does it for this one, guys. As always, um, you know, show some love in the video. Pac-Man cards is the IG if you want to you know, be in the loop for all the future upcoming stuff. And um, appreciate all you guys always. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.